factor at being effective in the darkness is always related to how much you can see and how quickly you can see it. One of the biggest pitfalls of standard night vision is it seems like you're looking through a paper towel tube. Photonis Defense just hit a home run out of the park with their latest release of the 50 degree wide field of view boom slang glass and it may be something worth looking into. When it comes to night vision and thermal, I'm personally always on the hunt for the next best thing. If you know me, you'll know without a doubt that I have zero concern about being trendy and cool. I'm more concerned with how new tech will benefit me in the darkness. So when I come to you all with something, it's usually because it's already benefited me in my personal night vision and thermal journey. Let's start off by talking about specs. The industry standard has always been 40 degrees. Now I know a 10 degree jump on paper to 50 degrees doesn't sound like much, but in real life, it is a huge deal. The additional field of view ends up creating a 28% increase in your horizontal field of view over top of 40 degree mil spec glass. Photonis also advertises that the optics feature better than IP68 rating. This means that they will withstand submersion in one and a half meters of water for more than 30 minutes. First, let's start off on the pros of the boom slang optics. When you run a unit with the boom slang optics, users can expect to experience a wider field of view, which leads to better situational awareness. Photonis advertises better light transmission. I'm no scientist and I have no fancy equipment to measure this, but others have and it checks out in my experience. The boom slang optics are simple to retrofit into your existing PVS-14 or any other unit that utilizes the same optics as a PVS-14. We often say ounces equal pounds. The boom slang optics are slightly lighter than mil-spec lenses. While it may not seem like optics play a huge role in the overall weight of a unit, lighter glass will affect the feel on your head. Recently, I had the opportunity to put two Viper 14s with the 50 degree glass on a Pano Bridge. I never found much use with 40 degree units and the Pano Bridge in the panoramic configuration. However, the boom slang optics changed this. I found this setup to be amazing with the 50 degree lenses. What I really liked the most was the increased overlap the two units have with the wide field of view glass while it's in the panoramic configuration. This increased overlap makes for a much better user experience. Historically, 50 degree glass for PBS 14s sucked. There was usually more fish eye than most users were willing to tolerate. And on top of that, the eye relief was so tight, you almost had to have your eyeball touching the lens. With the boom slang glass, this is no longer a reality and there is enough eye relief to function. As with any component, there's give and take. There are some cons and I wanted to briefly cover them. But before I do, let me start by saying none of these cons are big enough to hold me back from recommending boom slang optics. I've been personally running a 14 with these optics on it and I love it. I simply want to provide as much easy to understand info as possible. I found that obtaining critical focus is more sensitive than mil spec 40 degree glass landing on that sweet spot is slightly more difficult. I also noticed that the wider field of view essentially magnifies artifacts. If you have a tube with spots and you want to throw the boom slang glass on it, just be advised it essentially magnifies your existing artifacts and makes them seem slightly larger. Let me be clear. Let me be clear because there's been a lot of misinformation out here about this. It does not add artifacts if they're not there it only exaggerates ones that are there. The boom slang optics also create a slightly tighter eye relief than mil spec glass. For you googly eyed weirdos with short attention spans, this means your eyes are required to be slightly closer to the unit to obtain the full image that the glass offers. 
In my experience with the boom slang glass, I noticed a slight resolution sacrifice in the units we're running. This is just one of the small things that I am personally willing to sacrifice to drastically improve my personal situational awareness in the darkness. Being addicted to spending time in the darkness has its ups and downs. Upside is I've personally got an addiction to always improving my effectiveness in the darkness. Most of the time that comes in the form of practice and time spent with the gear at night. Sometimes that improvement can be found with a new piece of gear. The new 50 degree boom slang glass is a technological advancement that whether you train a lot with your gear or none at all, it will give you a wider field of view that directly correlates to increased situational awareness. If you are ready to get equipped, the Arcane site is there as a resource for you. We don't just offer night vision and thermal. We have everything from gun cleaning kits to body armor, bags, and more. Additionally, if you have questions about anything on our site, simply email us cs at arcane.com. Our team would love to help you in any way that we can. If you're serious about getting into night vision and thermal, you could also book a call with me where I can directly answer your questions one-on-one. -on -one. I've made a lot of mistakes buying this gear. I've spent big money on those mistakes, doing the tests and learning these things through trial and error. Talking to me or our team can help avoid that and get you into the right unit the first time. I wanna see you ready to be capable in the darkness.